What's up, peeps? Mike Vapes here. Today I have a single coil RTA to show you guys. And this RTA right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from VXV Tech. Yes, it is the Soulmate. You are my Soulmate RTA. So, yes, Soulmate RTA comes in two different colors. Comes in a stainless steel with the Ultim. And you also get a black, if you want, with Ultim. There we go. There you go, try and focus on that buddy, look at that, huh? oh yeah, yeah, anyway, so yes, single coil RTA, mouth to lung RTA, or a direct lung, like a very restrictive direct lung with this, so, holds 4 mLs of e-liquid, and it has top fill, and it looks old school with that old school 2015 drip tip, so, let's not waste any time, let's dive down, let's check out. The Soulmate RTA. And here's the packaging. The VXV Soulmate RTA comes in. And just to show you guys how you open it, it's almost like uh, opening up some uh, Pringles potato chips. <laughs> I couldn't believe when I saw this packaging. Look at that, huh? And that's the way you open the packaging. And inside the packaging, you get your infamous blue screwdriver, two post screws, a coil, extra O-rings, and your Soulmate RTA. So the Soulmate RTA is a 24 millimeter RTA, holds either two mLs of e-liquid or four mLs of e-liquid. Right now, it's got an adapter on the inside to make it a two mL capacity, which uh, I don't get. You really don't need it anymore. That little uh, condom thing that they have inside here, because with the laws that have changing now, it's un you're not going to be able to get away with it especially in the UK. So we have 510 drip tip on there and it's one of those old school looking drip tips. And the opening on this for your drip tips is on the tight side. I've noticed with other uh, of my own 510 drip tips, I've had some issues putting it in there and it's a stainless steel drip tip. I'm not too crazy about the drip tip. Now the RTA itself, you could unscrew the top and it does have top fill. Where? All the threading machining on here feels good. You got a stopper. All right, this is your airflow. And now this with this RTA, it's a, they're calling it a mouth to lung RTA. But you could also get a a very restrictive direct lung hit off this. There's the bottom VXV Soulmate, and they're calling it an RBA, and it's a 357 Magnum. Yeah, yeah, they call it an RBA. I'm gonna call it an RTA because that's what this is. So as you can see there, we do have Ultim. An Ultim and then a stainless steel ring. So let's take this apart. Just unscrew the base. Come on, there we go. Got that off. Pop this off. And you can see there's that piece I was talking about to make it into a 2 ml e liquid capacity. We'll pull off the condom, comes right off. There's your chimney section. Also, with this, the chimney section does unscrew and it just fell. There you go. Almost reminds me of like the old school K-Funds, right? Like a K-Fund style. And here is the Ultim piece. All right, so this is Ultim. And this also on thread. So you could take this apart if you want to. You can see that. Why, I have no clue, but you could take this all apart. Well, I guess that's how they assemble it, right? They're going to have to put it on here somehow. So they threaded it on there. All right, so this piece also unscrews off. There we go. The threading actually feels good on here. There's really no reason for you to take this apart. All right, guys, and there is the build deck. So we have our airflow in the center. Cotton goes down here. Then it's got this, like, triangle shape on the bottom, which I'll show you guys what that does. Two post screws, two beefy flathead screws, and your wire clamps right under, right inside here on both sides. All right, so I'm going to undo this side here. And I'm going to lift it up just enough so this way I could get my wire right in there without these screws popping off all right got it right where i want it i'm going to grab the coil that they provide and the coil they provide obviously the coil i'm going to have it facing down all right so i'll slip this side in first and then that side you can see that i do have it in place right now keep my fingers just like this and screw this side down I'm not going to fully tighten it, but I do have it down right now. Holding it in place, grab this side, slip it in. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pull that wire a little bit so I see that that coil is in the center. And just screw this down. 
All right now that I got it in place, you can see there, I'm just going to fully tighten this. Grab my coiling rod. Get in there and just make sure it's in the center and also lift it up. I want it to be up. I don't want it touching this airflow right here, this piece. All right, so one more time just to make sure, just for good luck, lift it. There we go, perfect. I might have put that a little too high. Let's drop it a little bit. Looks good to me right there. All right, so now that I got that cut, grab my wire cutters. Snip. Same thing on this side. And make sure you get as close as possible. You don't want it shorting out anywhere. Another trick to do is after you've cut it, grab like something and just do something like that. You know, even hammering it in. So this way you have no obstacle in there. All right, so now all I got to do is put it on the mod, pulse it, and get all the hot spots out. All right, now that I got my cotton in place, coil has been pulsed, no hot spots. I'm going to give it a nice light comb out. All right. And I'm going to cut the cotton. I want it to fall inside this channel right over here. All right, I don't want it to really hang down. So right in the threading, that's where I'm going to cut it. So I'll just put it just like that. Put the scissor right on the threading and cut. All right, get back inside there, give it some touch ups, give it a little test run and see how it's gonna fall. If you think it's too much, cut some more off. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it that angle cut. So now I could see, see that, the way it's going to fall. And this is all going to be in place once we get liquid on here. It's going to sit beautiful. Now I'm going to grab my liquid. We'll get that coil a little bit saturated, get that cotton done up. So this way, we're going to take our tweezers now. And put that cotton in place, see that? It's going to sit right inside that channel. And if you think it's too much cotton, you can always slide your scissor under there and cut, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of that. See that? Kind of got to give it a little bit more of an angle. There you go. That's perfect. I'm going to grab my chimney and screw that down. This way I want to make sure nothing is basically hitting on there. Uh, it's not hitting the... It's not cross-threading with the cotton. And now, this goes all the way down to the platform and you have one opening here two and three all right that's that v-shape the liquid goes in these three sides and feeds your cotton so this way it's not an overflow of liquid going to them all right so that's the way you do that now we'll take this top piece screw that in make sure it's tight there we go feels good undo our top fill and fill. All right, after we filled it up, throw our top cap back on, and we are ready to vape. All right, so let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it, the up close Soulmate RTA. Your thoughts, please. I hate the drip tip. I just don't like the drip tip that it comes with. It's just a big stainless steel drip tip. I don't know. It's not for me, the drip tip. All right, so it's going to be a con. Uh, airflow on this, it's not... Uh, this is not really, in my opinion, a mouth-to-lung RTA. It's like mouth-to-lung, direct lung, in-between there, RTA. One of those situations, you know. Uh, recently, what I review that was like that? The one from Advkin, at the Manta. The Manta mouth-to-lung. Same situation going on with this one here. Too much airflow, in my opinion. Fully open. It's loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but it makes this winding sound with it. Now, if I cut it down, and I'm just going to have it just a drop open, just a little tiny airflow hole open. 
not bad, but you could feel it's not a proper mouth to lung, in my opinion, for an RTA. Now, I have to say, the flavor on this thing pops. It's got popping flavor. Even though it's one of those RTAs that's, we don't know what it is. Is it a direct lung or mouth to lung? The flavor on this RTA rocks. Awesome flavor. Pros, the build quality of the RTA, not bad. Uh, four mLs of e-liquid, not bad. Pretty good. Build deck, easy. Super easy build deck to build. I'll give them a pro. It wicks beautiful. I've had no leaking, nothing like that with this. Pro. Uh, top fill works great. Ultim, now this is where it's tricky. Looks of the RTA. Some people are going to say, oh, that looks cool. Or some people are going to be like, that is ugly as F. You know what I'm saying? So it's that situation. So it looks subjective. For me personally, uh, I'm, I love black and Ultim, but this looks ugly. The stainless steel actually to me looks better so i'm that's why i'm rocking the stainless steel. i usually rock the black right you guys always see me with the black tanks all the time i ain't rocking the black one with this one I'm rocking the stainless steel one i just don't like the way the black one looks so that's gonna be subjective some people are gonna like it some people are not, not gonna like it other than that what else can i really say about it it's not a bad rta it's actually a pretty good rta if you like that very loose mouth to lung pull almost that you like that restrictive, very restrictive direct lung pull, you're going to enjoy this RTA. Let me open it up. Fully open. Resistance of the coil that they provided came out to a 0.43. I am vaping a 6 milligram nicotine in here. Let's have a vape. And the reason I put 6 milligram was because I knew I was going to be doing that direct lung vape off of it, you know, because it was too much airflow. Let's have a vape. See that? Get a lot of vapor off it. That's like a very restrictive direct lung. One more time, the mouth to lung. You know, it's not a bad RTA to tell you guys the truth. It just, I wish I had a little less airflow because this is more of a mouth to lung of RTA. Looks wise, the build deck, everything. I think that's what they wanted to go for was a mouth to lung RTA. So price on this, 38 bucks, heavengifts.com, coupon code AMV15 will get you 15% off that price. And they're calling it an RBA, not sure, it's an RTA, guys, or, or GTA, right? Almost like a, no, it's an RTA, that's what it is, it's an RTA. So, $38 you get from heavengifts.com, I'll have their link in the description below. I'll also have a link to VXV Text, their website, if you guys want to check it out, I'll throw their link down below also. That's it. I'm done. Thank you, and remember, keep on vaping.